In today's video, we are going to go over how to sign in to your Samsung Knox portal and how to push out applications, how to update applications, remove applications. First step that you'll do is you're going to go to samsungnox.com and then in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click log in. Once you log in, you're going to land at this landing page. We are going to click Knox Manage for the pane window that we want. And we are going to allow it land here on actual Samsung Knox Manage portal. On the left hand side, you're going to come down to settings and we are going to click Android and do Android Enterprise. When you do Android Enterprise, you're going to create an Android Enterprise or EMM account. Whenever you click and go through the process of that, you want to make sure that you're using a Gmail account that is not tied to a personal account. So you might have to create you a new one. The reason for that is, is we do not want to have a personal account that you've downloaded your own personal apps to be allowed to push out applications that you want on a device. So creating a separate one is always key. Once you have that completed, you're going to approve. Things to pay attention to. Basic store layout always auto update and we're not going to force app up to update because we are going to allow it to be done from inside the Knox manage portal once this is approved you can then go on the left hand side here and click applications when you click applications we are now going to get into the play store that we're going to push out apps whenever i click add we're going to do a public application and press ok once we do that, we are going to then type what application that we would like to use. Use Facebook as an example. When we click search, it comes up with a very many different ones of Facebook and everything that's around Facebook. The very first one is the one that we're going to want to use. We have to now approve the app to be downloaded on the actual Samsung Knox portal and also to be able to download on the application on the device itself we agree to the terms and conditions and then we want to make sure that we allow the permissions to be on there the difference between keep approved when app request new permissions meaning whenever the application updates we don't want the app to go away we want to keep the app on there every time it updates so every time a new permission during an update is there we're going to keep it on there if you revoke it every time a new permission or an update is there it'll take the application off until you come back in and then re-approve it we're going to click done now we're to the standpoint of what version number the package name is what's called an apk file our url is what the URL is to get, a, get directly from the Play Store. It is a managed Play Store app. It is public. And the category is common. We're going to come down here and hit Save and Assign. And then press OK to assign it. We are going to do Android Enterprise. Because Android Legacy is no longer there. And we don't need to do Android Legacy Plus Enterprise. We just want Android Enterprise. The reason for that is, is right here, the install type. Any application that we push out to the organization, we want to make sure that we push it and make sure it installs automatically, and it can be removable automatically. We are not forcing it to auto run after install because you're going to want to have multiple applications running at your will. We do not use the use deployment scheduler because we want it to be instant. If you wanted to use the deployment scheduler, you can say on this day, at this time, this app will be added to the device. We just find it easier to be able to send it directly out to your organization. The target type, we're going to go under organization. And we're going to click simple innovations group for our organization to push out the application. Once we do that, we click assign. And then we'll press OK to make sure that everything goes out the way it should be. Once the profile is assigned, we can come over here to Applications. And now you see that we have Facebook is here. If we click on Facebook, 
you can see that the one device that we have in here has checked in nine minutes ago and it has not installed yet. Once it installs, this will go from non install to install, and then you'll know that the, uh, the application has downloaded on the specific application or on the specific device. To update an application, you'll still come to the screen that you see here, but right here next to the version number, you're going to get in big red letters. Would you like to update to the latest version? When you click that, that automatically sends out the update command to all the devices that have Facebook downloaded. For, to remove an application, we're going to go back to the application piece on the left hand side. We are going to click the checkbox here and we're going to click delete. And then we're going to press OK. That will then delete the application off of the Knox Manage, and it will be also deleted off the device once your device checks in with the portal. So in recap, we now know how to push out an application. We now know how to update an application. We now know how to remove and also how to push.